Hello, this is Yeshua Said My Name. In this video, we're going to be discussing uh, how I believe, it's my opinion, that very few people um, understand how Jeremiah 51 actually seems to mirror Revelation chapter 18. When I discovered this, I was astonished that the prophet Jeremiah was basically shown uh, the same thing that uh, John was shown in the book of Revelation on the Isle of Patmos. Let's begin uh, in Jeremiah 51. Uh, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. So we've established on this channel that modern day mystery Babylon is indeed Vatican City State. In Revelation chapter 17, for those of you who are new to this, God states that mystery Babylon or modern day Babylon uh, will be dressed in purple and scarlet, holding a golden cup of the mass, and will be a city sitting on seven hills. Now, this is out of the mouth of God himself. Uh, I will, I'm going to take you to some quotes in a few moments where Catholic sources actually admit that Babylon is Rome. But getting back to Jeremiah 51, it is prophesied, as in Revelation 18, that God will judge mystery Babylon, meaning the Vatican, in these last days. Uh, so God is saying here that he will rise up against Babylon, uh, coming down to starting in verse 6. Um, and Isaiah, I'm sorry, uh, Jeremiah 51, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance, and he will render unto her a recompense. Now in Revelation 18, the her or she is referencing mystery Babylon, which is the harlot church, the anti-church, the church that is not the true bride of Christ. And God is saying here, Flee out of her, flee out of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Uh, be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. In Revelation chapter 18, 17 and 18, God tells you, come out of her, my people. Come out of this Babylonian Vatican system so that you will not be partakers of her sin and of the Lord's judgments. This is in Revelation. God is saying the same thing here to Jeremiah. Uh, come out of the system. This is the time of God's vengeance against Babylon. Do not be cut off or be a partaker in her iniquity. Uh, verse 7 here, Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. In Revelation 17, it states specifically that one of the identifying marks of mystery Babylon or the Vatican will be the golden cup of the mass. Here we are at Jeremiah 51, the Lord describing Babylon having a golden cup that made all the earth drunken. In Revelation 17, it says that she, meaning Mystery Babylon, made all the kings of the earth drunk with her wine of fornication and her sorceries. The nations have drunken of her wine back here in Jeremiah. Therefore, the nations are mad. This is specifically what is stated in Revelation 17. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Howl for her, take balm for her pain so that she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. This is like reading Revelation. In Revelation, it is said, fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. Uh, it also says here that her sins have reached to heaven in Revelation 17 and it's stating it here in Jeremiah 51. So, uh, actually, uh, let me see here. Verse 12, set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon, make the watch strong, set up the watchmen for the Lord hath both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. Now in revelation, it states that, uh, the, uh, the harlot church, the Vatican mystery Babylon, uh, is sitting on many waters and what this represents. And it states this also here, as we are going to read in Jeremiah 51, uh, the sitting upon many waters means many nations and many peoples, many nations, tribes, and tongues. This harlot, Mystery Babylon, rules over. And it states here in verse 13 of Jeremiah 51, O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Again, in Revelation, it says Mystery Babylon, the harlot church, Vatican, sits upon many waters. She is rich with precious stones and pearls, it states in Revelation. 
and that her end is come. So now that we've read all of these scriptures from Jeremiah 51, and I encourage you to look into this yourself as well and read Jeremiah 51 and tell me if this doesn't resemble Revelation 18 that we are going to read right now. Revelation chapter 18. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit. Skipping down. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Now, didn't we just read that in Jeremiah 51? Uh, verse four, and I heard another voice from heaven come out of her, my people, that you not be partakers of her sins and that you were not received of her plagues. Didn't we just read this in Jeremiah 51? God saying, come out of that system for the day of his vengeance will come and you do not want to be cut off in her sins and her iniquities. For her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. We just read that in Jeremiah 51. Reward her as she has rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she has filled to her double. For how much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her for she said in her heart, I sit as a queen and I'm no widow and I will see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. And verse 10, standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. So basically, God is showing you here that the kings of the earth, if you read Revelation 18, will burn this harlot church with fire one day. And this is God's way of judging her. When you read Jeremiah 51, thus saith, behold, the Lord, I will raise up against Babylon uh, uh, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, the people associated with Vatican, modern day Babylon, the whore of uh, Revelation, um, a destroying wind. So he's going to send a destroying wind. And it says here in Revelation 6, flee out of Babylon just like we read in Revelation 18, and deliver every man his soul and be not cut off in her iniquity. To be cut off means to be destroyed, to be killed, uh, to be judged. The Lord is saying, get out of Babylon, just as it says here in Revelation 18. Babylon is associated with the golden cup of the mass, just like we've seen in Revelation 17. So here we have uh, Jeremiah 51 and Revelation uh, 18 stating exactly the same thing. God's word confirms itself. If you are part of this whore of Babylon, which is recognizable as being dressed in purple and scarlet colors, sitting on a city of seven hills or reigning on a city of seven hills, which is, is Rome, and holding a golden cup of the mass, if you identify yourself with Rome, you need to get out according to God's word in Jeremiah 51 and Revelation 18. Now, I want to go to some quotes directly from um, Catholic theologians. Uh, and you can find this on Revelation Timeline, decoded.com. Uh, here's the link up here at the top. Uh, it states here, um, not only just Charles Spurgeon quote Rome as being the harlot, and you can read Charles Spurgeon's uh, quotes here on this page, but there are Catholic theologians in their own words that proclaimed that Babylon is Rome or the Vatican. Let's read some of those here. Sylvester Hunter, a Jesuit, said, There is no room for doubt that by the Babylon of the Apocalypse is meant the city of Rome. Now, this is a Jesuit saying this. There is no room for doubt that by the Babylon of the Apocalypse, meaning Revelation, the book of Revelation, is meant the city of Rome. And down to the time of the Reformation, it was the unanimous judgment of all writers that the Babylon of St. Peter's epistle is the same Rome. Read it for yourself. This is right here from a Catholic theologian, a Jesuit, stating that modern day Rome is indeed that city in the book of Revelation. Cardinal Baronius, who lived from 1538 and to 1607, said, By Babylon is to be understood to be Rome. 
and this is from a cardinal, Cardinal Bellarmine, who was an Italian Jesuit and a cardinal of the Catholic Church, and one of the most important figures in the Counter-Reformation, said, um, John, in the Apocalypse, or Revelation, calls Rome Babylon. Cardinal Newman, who was originally an evangelical Oxford academic and priest in the Church of England before he joined the Church of Rome, describes the city of Rome as a doomed city amid the obscurities of the fearful apocalypse or revelation. Again, these are quotes that you can see not only from a reformer, which is Spurgeon himself calling Rome uh, or Vatican Rome, Mystery Babylon or the harlot mother, uh, we also have this coming from Catholic theologians in their own words, Jesuits and cardinals, stating they recognize that Rome is that mystery harlot Babylon uh, uh, in the book of Revelation. Jeremiah 51 makes it very clear if you read it. I encourage you to read it if you're unfamiliar with Jeremiah 51 in the Old Testament, if you're new to this. It speaks exactly what Revelation 18 states about the destruction and judgment of Babylon. Why is God judging the Vatican one day? Why will the Vatican be destroyed? The Vatican has, over the centuries, incorporated paganistic religions. It is accepted that all faiths lead to the same God. It preaches heresy against God. The Vatican houses the papal dynasty, the reigning popes of Rome, who claim that they are God on earth. They have stated this out of their own mouths. You can look up their quotes on the internet. They have blasphemed against God, called themselves God on earth, being the vicar of Christ, meaning Christ on earth. They are anti or substitute Christ, which was prophesied in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation. The Lord will not tolerate any system that claims to be God on earth, that claims to change his laws and times. The Vatican changed the Sabbath from Saturday to Sunday. Uh, they changed God's Ten Commandments excluded the commandment of thou shalt not create any graven images of anything in heaven above or earth below and worship them. And prayer is worship. If you're praying to a statue of Mary or one of the saints, that is worship, friends. God is going to destroy this paganistic system that is cloaking itself in Christianity. It has a form outwardly of godliness or Christianity, but denies the power of Christ. It denies the scriptures. It blasphemes against God, calling itself the mother church, the true way and, uh, and the life. When Christ said, I am the only God, I am, the I am one with the Father, and that I am the only way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes unto God except through me, Christ said. This harlot church states that there is no salvation outside the Catholic church, that everyone must be subject to the Roman pontiff. This is not what Christ said, and this is not what scripture says. And God will judge her for these blasphemies against him. God will judge her for taking from his word, adding to his word, changing his times and laws. And the <laughs> reading Jeremiah 51 and Revelation 18, I encourage you to compare them. What do they say? They are synonymous. They are speaking of the same judgment that will befall modern Vatican City State. Do your research. Come out of the system.